Hello, my name is Kevin and welcome to the Love Decanters channel. So today I'm going to talk about glass crizzling. Yes. Um, I have a piece of glass that is crizzled to show you. And uh, what is it? So basically when they make the glass, if they get the chemistry wrong and they leave too much alkaline, because obviously glass is made out of sand, silicon, and then they put a whole bunch of other chemicals into it to um, uh, help it melt and make it clear and get the, because sand's got imperfections in it. So if it's got like too much iron, it comes out really green. So um, yeah, that was the problem in early glass was trying to make it clear. And um, if you go to, I haven't been for ages, but if you go to Victorian Albert Museum and look at some of their really old um, Venetian glass from the Renaissance period, you'll see a lot of it is got millions of little tiny cracks in it. Um, it's called crizzling or glass sickness. And if you go on Wikipedia, actually, there's a big article about glass sickness and it explains all the chemistry and stuff and about what's happened, etc., etc. But I thought I would show you it because I have a piece which has got it and um, yeah so you'll know what you're looking at so that if you see something that's got this it does affect the value I think um, do people really want something that's literally gonna fall to fall apart eventually and doesn't look like like it should do you can see just by looking at this it looks a bit cloudy doesn't it and that is actually the cracked surface um, but I'm gonna point stop this camera and point it down and um, we can get some, try and get some close up on this glass. So here we are, we've got a bucket rummer, probably sort of like circa 1820 or something like that. It's very plain. It's got a nice shape to it. Look, it's, it's got a slight bend out here. But yeah, can you see if I hold it? I'm not sure if it's going to be coming out very well, but you can see it has a certain shimmer to it. It's in the base as well. I was hoping that, can you, can you see how the light's catching it? And it's just, so at some angles it looks clearer and other angles it gets very, you can see all these little tiny, minute, shiny cracks in it. Can you see that? I'll try and catch the light with it from different angles. I'm hoping it's coming out, but um, yeah, and that's crizzling. So don't mistake it for um, um, crackle glass, where they basically dip the glass in, in um, a bucket of water while it's still hot, and the surface all crackles up, and then they put it back in the furnace and it fuses back together. Or overshot glass, where they've put crushed glass on the surface, and um, I've got a video on that, so on crack glass versus overshot, just to explain that difference, but this is something completely different. It's really fine, you can't feel it on the surface. Yeah, both of those textures, you can feel the texture, yeah? This is absolutely, feels like a normal glass. Um, sometimes these, these glasses will sweat as well, and if you do that, they, they leave a smell on your hand. Yeah, you, you'll feel that sometimes. Um, glass that's been sort of like left in a cupboard for like 10 years or something, you'll, you'll feel it, it's got like a sweaty feel and that's actually this glass sickness happening. And, and it might take a very long time for it to um, end up crisp like this. And eventually um, it will fall apart. So yeah, and that's, and in fact, when I went to the, Victorian Albert Museum, there was one piece of um, Renaissance glass where um, they'd obviously deliberately left it on this, in the display where basically the bowl had dropped through the stem. So the stem, you know, basically the, there was a hole in the bottom of the bowl and the stem was just sitting there, sitting up where it just collapsed through. So um, yeah, that's what happens eventually. This is quite a big solid piece. Um, and uh, it, it will take a long time, but those are really thin pieces, so it, it, it structural integrity of them goes much quicker. So yeah, that's the glass that I have, just to sort of like demonstrate the effect. So I hope you found that informative. You see that, you know what you're looking at. It, 
I said it's got no texture on the surface. Um, so, and it's not crackle glass and it's not overshot glass. It's glass that's deteriorating and will, because of its chemistry. So um, I will give you a link to the Wikipedia page on glass sickness. And yeah, chrizzling is what most people call it. Um, and um, what else? Yes, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video and thank you for watching. Have a good night. Good night.